back in 2007 we had an aero review and Paul was like oh we need some Māori parents to come to our Fano meeting for aero can you tell your husband to come I was like yeah sure in that meeting Dean said well the problem is is that Tapuki is a Māori community and there's no Māori pathway for these children to experience education in a Māori context so this school needs a um, full immersion unit then the current DP at the time came and said, do you know what your husband's just said to the Aero Review team? But there was so much Fano support for it, it just kind of naturally evolved. I came on board around that time um, where we visited um, immersion settings, um, bilingual settings, rumaki. Uh, we came back and consulted with our iwi our komatua, our whānau, our school community. We did lots and lots of background work um, to set that foundation properly. Then we knew it was really important to have um, komatua involvement along the way. Our principal, Paul, gave us the mandate to then um, start um, toi toi manua. At that stage it was the immersion unit. We had a name that was given to us by the Komatua. They um, had a very clear vision around what the kopapa should be. And so they said to us, we want them to know about our tupuna. We want them to know about the kotaki. We want them to know about why the rivers are called what they're called and why our maunga's over here and not over there and where the waka landed and who their tupuna were and where the battle site are and we didn't have that knowledge. So they came into the kura. They gave up their time. They invested hugely. And we even take them down the coast where some of them come from. We take them to their own area so they'll know where they come from. The stories that we gathered, that the children learnt, um, that we were able to come back into the classroom and really follow up on all of that valuable, valuable knowledge um, was just huge. And that's how we built our localised curriculum. Because we were an immersion unit within a kura, we called it Marau Atoi Toi Manua, which um, is highly sought after now. It started by one class, the next year we had two classes. Very soon we had a waiting list of um, particularly Māori whānau who were just lining up to come into Toi Toi Manawa. We had a huge learning journey that, those first few years when we changed from the New Zealand curriculum to Te Marautanga o Aotearoa because the kaiako were trained under New Zealand curriculum and so we had some really quality PLD actually with some top uh, people. I really admire and respect our Tumaki, our principal. He um, gives us complete autonomy, basically, to um, run this unit, um, Rangatiratanga. When it's the time for um, myself or Tatai to lead in certain aspects across our school and our community, he does that, and that's, that, that's true ako. He's the tuakana of our school, or the rangatira of our school, but step back because of those settings, he knows he's not the um, expert. Another aspect that's really important is we saw that if we only focused on toi toi manawa, that, that would be okay within our school, but what about following on from our school to intermediate high school and, and further? So we have two across school teachers, and so we're able to have that leadership developing and growing and helping the rest of all the schools in Tupuki as well as our own school. In my experience in Toitoi Toi Manawa, I realised the benefit of it being in a mainstream school is that it simulates the real world. They're able to retain the culture and, and practise the culture and share it with the rest of the school just as they would in the real world. That was a directive from our whānau actually, that they were really wanting their tamariki to learn te reo Māori, but on the other hand they wanted them to be able to operate confidently in both worlds. So they asked um, what about the English lesson, so that's an example of how we um, heard whānau voice and put it into practice. Surprised, but then mum realised they were late. It's when you're sitting um, on the floor at a tangi and a nanny of a nanny says to you, oh, I haven't heard that wire to Totoko since I was a nine-year-old girl. 
And so, you know, for um, revival of stories and songs, those are successes. Yeah, it only takes one light to light up the darkness and um, we've got plenty of lights here. <laughs> yeah!